safety starts before you start your machine. A pre-shift inspection of the machine is important and offers safety and comfort. Turn the battery switch to on. Close all covers and hoods. Enter the machine using the three points of contact. Close the cabin door. Adjust seat. Adjust mirrors. Fasten seatbelt. Turn the key to position one. Observe monitoring system self-test and check for warnings. Make sure all personnel are clear off machine and sound horn twice. Maintain clear communication with co-workers and good visibility at all times. Turn the key to position two to start the engine. Engage safety lever to activate all hydraulic functions. Select desired engine speed. Move right joystick back and forward for boom. Move right joystick left and right for bucket. Move left joystick left and right for swing. Move left joystick forward and back for stick. Select appropriate travel speed. Push both travel levers forward at the same time to travel forward. Push levers differently to change direction. Move joysticks smoothly to help the warm-up of hydraulic components. Cycle all controls to allow warm oil to circulate through all hydraulic cylinders and lines. Select working mode. Economy mode fits most applications and reduces fuel consumption. Before starting the job, check for potential bucket interference risks with the machine. In addition, in order to prevent damage to the cylinders during operation, avoid fully extending the stick and bucket. Ensure the position of the upper structure and undercarriage is known. While digging, the drive sprockets should be at the rear of the machine. Position the equipment as shown on the video to get maximum force and precision during the operations. To save time and energy, position the machine to have the shortest swing possible. Leveling operations are optimized through short stick and boom movements. This improves performance and precision of the machine. Park machine on safe and level area. Align the upper carriage with the undercarriage to ensure a safe exit from the cabin. Lower attachment to the ground with cylinders fully retracted to guard against possible damage to cylinder rods. Reduce engine speed to low idle and let it run for two minutes before shut off. Turn the key to stop the engine. Turn the key again to position one. Work the joysticks in a circular motion to relieve system pressure. Turn key back to off. Disengage the safety lever and take the key. Climb off the excavator facing the machine and using a three-point stance. Never jump off a machine. Turn the battery switch to off. Shut, secure and lock windows, covers and cab door. Protect the machine against unpermitted use and vandalism.